Does BPC-157 need to be injected at the injury site? Yes and no. Honestly, the answer really depends on what you're trying to heal and how this peptide actually works. So let me break it down for you. BPC-157 works primarily through something called VEGF R2 upregulation. And VEGF stands for vascular endothelial growth factor, which is one of the main signals your body uses to build new blood vessels and repair damaged tissue. Now, BPC-157 doesn't actually produce VEGF directly, but what it does is increase the number of VEGF receptors on your cells. And so when your body sends that repair signal, your cells are more sensitive to it and the signal gets amplified. And this is important to understand because BPC-157 needs damaged tissue to work. The repair signals have to already be present for it to amplify them. And if there's no signal, there's nothing to amplify. That's really the simplest way to think about it. Now, BPC-157 has a half-life of just under 30 minutes, which basically means that within a couple of hours, it's effectively cleared from your system. And this is why the injection site question matters so much. When you inject near an injury, you're getting maximum concentration at the target tissue before it clears. And the research actually supports this. There were studies on burns that showed applying BPC-157 directly at the injury site produced better outcomes than systemic injection, including more blood vessel formation, less inflammation, and faster tissue repair. And for musculoskeletal injuries, things like tendons, ligaments, and muscle tissue, this is exactly why proximity matters. You're working against that short half-life, and you want the highest concentration where the repair signals are. But here's where the no comes in. BPC-157 still circulates, and once it's in your bloodstream, it will find injured tissue throughout your body. Studies also show that systemic injection still produced healing effects across different tissue types. So if you have multiple injuries or you're dealing with systemic inflammation, subcutaneous anywhere will circulate and find the damage. So the answer really depends on what you're trying to heal. If you have one specific musculoskeletal injury, inject near it because you want maximum concentration at that site. And if you have multiple issues or systemic inflammation, subcutaneous anywhere works just fine. So like I said, once you understand how it works, the right approach becomes pretty obvious. Now, if you want to learn more about peptide protocols, dosing, cycling, and sourcing information, I do have a free school community where I break all that down. It's free to join, and all you have to do to get an invite is just comment the word school below with a K, and I'll send you a link to join. I hope this video helps, and I'll see you on the next one.